up guys learning with rich here in this video i'm going to teach you how to use the interference check tool in revit 2020 okay so that is what we are going to do as you can see here on my architectural model so there is an mep model that is link okay and i can actually uh, see here the clash between the lighting fixture as well as the air terminal but let's say for example I didn't notice that but since I'm using the Revit 2020 full version okay not Revit LT I'll be able to use the interference check tool here so it's like the clash detection that we are using in Navisworks but this time around we are not going to use that software we're going to do the clash detection checking here in Revit using the interference check okay so let's get started so I'm going to click the drop down arrow here and then I'm going to select run interference check the reason why you are seeing here the show last report it's because I already ran interference check a while ago but I'm doing it again here so I'm going to select run interference check I click that one and then from here you, you can see a window with two sides uh, like for example side A and side B and then category selected from the current project but if you're going to click the drop down arrow you can see here that you can also select the MEP model dot RVT or the link model and then it will show you here what are the categories or elements on that particular link model which is air terminals, dock fittings, docks, flex dock and mechanical equipment okay Aside from the current project and then the link model, you can also use selection technique like this one, like that one. Okay, so I'm going to select like that and then going to the collaborate, interference check, run interference check. If I click the drop down arrow here, I now have three options, the current project the link model and then the current selection meaning to say these are the elements that I have selected from here so basically you can just select a simple portion like for example in my case I'm going to select these elements here for example that one and then I go to the collaborate and then interference check run interference check and then I can see there the current selection Okay, so what I'm going to do is, for my side A here, I'm going to use current selection. But, I'm going to select all. I'm going to click one of the box to uncheck all. And then, I'm going to click lighting fixture. So, that is just what I want here on my current selection. You can actually also select the current uh, the lighting fixtures if you're going to select current project. You can also select the lighting fixture. Okay? Also, in the current selection right okay so let me just select the lighting fixture that is my concern I want to see if there is a clashes between the lighting fixtures as well as the air terminal so for the side B I'm going to select your MEP model the link model and then I'm gonna go ahead and select the air terminals so after that I just need to select here okay and then there you go so Revit will now show you here the clashes in your project and then as you will notice as I click here it highlights the clash location here just like this one there's the lighting fixtures and then there's the MEP model the air terminal you see it also highlights you can actually move or pan your your model even if the interference report here is uh, turned on okay so if I click this there's a clash so I actually have four clash here so you can change the group by category 1, category 2, or category 2, category 1, okay? But it's just the same, okay? Now, below here, you have an option if you want to highlight or you want to show that particular uh, lighting fixture, the location of that, although we can also see it from here. But if you want other angle, you can select show, and then it will zoom in. If you click another show here, it will open up another view so if I select your OK it will open up another view where is that particular uh, family or element is location so for this one I can't see it so I'm going to select show again 
to look for another angle. So that's one. I select show again. And then here I can't see nicely. So just show again. So basically it's like that. So I know you get the idea. All right. So let me just go back again to my section view. Oh, I mean to the ceiling plan view level one. All right. There you go. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is, let's say, for example, um, the link model will going to be updated. This one, the MEP model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, open this one, the MEP model. Because uh, let's say I want to move the air terminal to this side here same uh, alignment to this air terminal okay so I'm going to move these two air terminal that is clashing with the lighting fixture to this side so let's say I am the MEP coordinator so I'm going to open my architect uh, my MEP model so I'm going to open and unload so I just select here okay so it will open up the MEP model so let's say I am now the MEP consultant so where is that? So I think this is the two air terminal that is having a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, move this. Or I think I can use a line here. So there's the align tool. Oops, it's. I think I need to move because the, the flexible dock is not following. So like that. Okay. Or I can use the arrow to nudge it. Okay. And can I check the ceiling plan here so it doesn't show? Anyway, I'll just go back to the second floor here. And then I'll use align tool. So this is where I want to align these two guys here. There you go. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save as to this another file name. So I'm going to save as this project inside my desktop here. So let's say this will going to be my uh, updated. Okay. So updated. One. Okay. And then after that, so let's say I'm done with the modification of my MEP model. So as a consultant, MEP consultant, I am now going to send this to the architectural team. So after saving this, I'm going to send that to the architectural team. And then what I'm going to do as an architectural uh, coordinator, so I'm going to right click this. Uh, instead of using reload, which will be using the same file, so I'm going to select here reload from so I can locate where is that uh, new file which is for example this one so I'm going to select that and then I select here open and there you go so so now that it's already updated so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select again interference check run interference check and then Mm, probably what I'm going to do is let me use the other option here. So just to show you the show last report. So I click that. So if I click this, as you can see, it says that there is a clash. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh this one. I click refresh and there you go. There is no clashes here anymore. Okay, so just in case you want to export the report that was here a while ago, there is an option here, export. So you can use that one to save the file as an HTML file. And then you can send that to the to the people that will be uh, seeing the interference report. Okay? So basically, that's how you use your interference check uh, tool. Okay? So it's very simple. It's very handy if you don't have any uh, Navisworks software. So you can use the interference check tool using your Revit 2020 full version. Okay, so thanks to Mr. Paul Oven, my other Revit hero guy. So thank you. I have learned this one from him. Okay, to so this particular one. Okay, so thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.